Yo, what is up, y'all? My name is Devin, and today I'm gonna be taking you guys through an at-home dumbbell-only shoulder workout. Now, this is a fucking killer workout, and as you can see, I slowly start sweating as the workout progresses, so I definitely suggest saving this workout and applying it if you're someone who is training from home. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, a meal plan, or a training plan, be sure to email me at Devin Does Coaching. It's gonna be somewhere over here, Devin Does Coaching at gmail.com. Without further ado, let's get into this killer fucking workout. So before we pick up any big boy weight whatsoever, we want to make sure that we're properly primed for movement. So that looks like this external rotator cuff rotation. Now we're going to be doing one set per each side at 10 to 12 reps using very light weight and make sure your shoulder blades are pinned back the entire time. If you feel any burning sensation whatsoever, drop the weight, okay? What you do to one side, you have to do it to the other. It's pretty much like chemistry. <laughs> The first exercise on our shoulder day is going to be a dumbbell shoulder press with four sets of 10 to 12 reps. When you're able to get to the 12th rep, use heavier weight, okay? Now when you are kicking the weight up, always place the weight on your knees and then kick them up from there. You should never be grabbing weight from down below you because that's simply going to be a waste of energy, okay? To create stabilization, you're going to pin your shoulder blades back against the bench, hold your breath as you bring the weight down, explode your breath out as you bring the weight up, and push your belly button out against your core. This is called bracing your core and it gets rid of that weird wobbly sensation that we feel sometimes when we're first getting used to lifting. Next we have TikTok's favorite exercise and that is going to be the dumbbell lateral raises and I honestly, I love this movement myself as well. A big focal point of this exercise is following a pendulum range of motion. Think as though you're pulling the weight away from your body, squeezing at the top, slowly controlling the weight as it comes down. The burn that you feel on your side delts on this exercise should be freaking insane. Now this next exercise is a dumbbell rear delt row. We're gonna be doing three sets of 12 to 15 reps with light weight, okay? You wanna think as though you're driving your elbows towards the ceiling above you and that's really gonna squeeze into that rear delt. A lot of people sleep on training the back portion of their shoulders, but if you want rounded, capped off delts, don't sleep on this exercise, for real. When you're working out from home, sometimes we don't have a weight that is very challenging for us, so feel free to go beyond the sets and the reps that I outlined. So like for this exercise, I outlined three sets of 12 to 15 reps, but you can do 20 to 25 if that's what it takes to really feel the burn. Don't feel stifled by what I'm suggesting. The last exercise of this shoulder day is going to be a dumbbell shrug at three sets of 10 to 12 reps and you can definitely use heavier weight for this movement. Now this exercise does not train your shoulders, it actually trains your traps, but your traps definitely adds to the overall thickness of your upper body and a big cue here is thinking as though you want to pull the tops of your shoulders to touch the bottom of your earlobes and do not roll your shoulder blades back, just simply pull straight up to touch your earlobes, nice and controlled coming back down and you can use heavier weight for this movement because your pulling movements are going to be relatively strong in comparison to like a pressing movement, right? There's one principle that you have to have to apply, and this is sort of my problem when it comes to training from home, and that is progressive overload. Progressive overload is kind of difficult to achieve when you don't have very challenging dumbbells. Most of the time when we're training from home, we do not have very high increments of dumbbells. If you're training properly, you will gain strength as you go, and a lot of us are not gonna make that investment for 50 pound, 55 pound, 60 pound dumbbells. So if you do have your heart set on solely training from home, as you develop in strength, make sure that you are also investing in yourself to apply progressive overload. That is the video y'all hopefully you found it somewhat helpful like i always say devin loves you devin's dawn and devin is out of here boy ah.